Hey, we are Story Fandom, and we are here for something a little bit different today. We're not doing a review, we're not doing a rant, we're not doing a reaction, or well, we're doing a story theory, which should have probably been something with an R, you know, alliteration. But, nonetheless, um, I have a theory because, well, I get bored at work, I spend a lot of time in traffic, it's... My brain churns up plots and theories and characters, and it spat this out this week. And so um, I thought I'd run it past everyone, so to see what people thought. Um, they know it, because unfortunately our first take was ruined by a dog. Max. He gives no fucks about what you just did. <laughs> I know, he's just laying on the couch licking his foot. Probably licking the couch at this point. No, no his he's licking there. his paw. Yeah. He's probably also getting the now couch. You're trying, now you're trying to get him more chill. God. It's my spot. <laughs> I bet you when I touch it, it's wet. You just spit at me. <laughs> so, get used to it, apparently. The dog licking this, your spot. Anyway. So, my theory is... Is that Pietro Palladino, the scientist... Was married to the oh, loudest kid. I remember now. Go ahead. Mm. Was married to the Winter Maiden. Um, and that Penny is a rebuilt version of their dead daughter. So I have my phone here with a bullet point list that I spent. <laughs> a lot of time. <laughs> a lot of time working on. And by a lot of time, I mean when I was just sitting at red lights. Um, so Don't text and drive. Oh. Or write bullet points and drive. Oh, of course not. Yeah, he always stops right away. No, I wait till I'm at a red light. Whatever. <laughs> she doesn't know. She doesn't do my job. She volunteers at the school and runs that place, basically. Okay, so... I think we can all safely assume that um, Pietro and Arthur Watts were colleagues. They were both scientists at Atlas at some point. No, I would go even farther to say that I think they may have been partners working together on all sorts of different Atlas technology, including stuff like synthetic robots that can use you know, defensive auras. Because let's be honest, their robots suck. Like... <laughs> That would have killed one of the robots. A saber sneezes at one of the robots and it explodes. The robots are terrible. Right? Can we all mm-hmm. agree? Atlas robots? Yeah. So they'd be trying to develop new... Stop. New techniques to sort of keep the robots alive. Now... Anyway. So... You know, Watts, we all know who Watts is like. He's obsessed with science. He doesn't care. He doesn't have morals. He just likes to to find out how things work and to do science for science's sake. So, you know, he'll do all sorts of immoral things. He's got no connection to the world outside. So I could see him building a machine that would pull someone's soul out of their body. Sort of like the machine later used in Veil with Amber and Pyrrha when they tried to give Pyrrha Amber's soul. So, Pietro is a good-natured person. He wants to help. He loves people. And he'd have a connection to the world. He'd have a wife and a daughter. And he'd be the sort of person who would stand in Watts' way and say, No, you can't use that. That's not okay. So they'd kind of like be partners, but they'd butt heads. And, you know, like as I mentioned already, that I think that his wife would be the Winter Maiden. Well... I'm getting to that. Well, then there would be the tragedy. We all know Watts left Atlas for some reason. And we know it had to be something big. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that... Well, I'm going to say for the theory that it was a tr- pretty tragic event. A mm. lot of people got hurt, including Pietro and his family. So that's how Pietro got paralyzed. He got damaged lower lumbar area of his back. Pietro Palladino was paralyzed. <laughs> yes, Pietro Palladino was paralyzed. More alliteration. 
Um, so he, however, he was the least injured of his family. His daughter was the most injured. She barely came through the situation alive. Whatever way went wrong, she barely made it. Um, and his wife, because she's winter maiden, tried to help, but she also got hurt. She ended up in a coma. So now, you know, Pietro finds himself, you know, Watts is gone. He finds himself all of a sudden. He can't walk anymore. His daughter is barely alive, and his wife won't wake up. What? 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 That's what I think you're wrong. <laughs> but keep going. Can I at least finish my theory first sure. before you just pull it apart? Sure. <sighs> I'm, like I said, All right. So let me pull down so I can find my spot again. So <laughs> he is, you know, he's lost. He wants to do something to make up for his point. <laughs> make up for what is going wrong right now. Hmm. There are other bullet points. Okay. Now can I finish reading the stuff so you aren't <laughs> so I can make the video? I guess. <sighs> anyway, so he feels like he has to do something. And nobody can help his daughter. She's passing away. His wife won't wake up. So he ends up in a desperate attempt to just do something. Is to take that machine, the same one that I mentioned that Watson made for they use later with Amber and Pira. And pulls his daughter's soul out of her body as she dies. And then time passes. Because he needs time to build a robot that would be able to house a soul. So eventually he does. He builds Penny and he puts his daughter's soul into Penny. And the reason I think this is the case is because is there's a line done in volume 2. Where Penny is talking to Ruby and she says that Mr. Ironwood says that I'm the key to saving the world, or to win for victory. So we know the way the maiden powers work. When a maiden passes on, who's ever in her thoughts last, if they are a young woman, will get her powers. Now, if the winter maiden is in stable condition, but she's not actually moving around, she would say in a coma, if she's going to think of anyone when she passes away, it's going to be your family. Now, if she thinks of her family, the maiden powers will go to her daughter. But since her daughter is dead, they would order her daughter's soul, which is in Penny. And Ironwood would get a huge advantage out of having, you know, a maiden like Penny. Because she wouldn't ever get old. She wouldn't need any, like, you have to worry about her needing food or sleep or anything like that. She's still, whether or not she has a soul, she's still a robot. And, you know, if she gets damaged, like, I don't know, say ripped apart, she can be repaired. So... Ironwood, who has, you know, always looking for a way to win, would have a, then his ultimate maiden. So I think that that's the way it's going to be. It's going to turn out to be that, you know, the winter maiden is in a coma, that they're waiting basically for her to die. Hmm? I was trying to think about their P names for females. Which is? Pepper. I thought of a pepper. 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 Penelope. Pira. That's as far as I got. I couldn't think of any. I don't know. You're a Charmed fan. Paige. Phoebe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but Phoebe doesn't sound Piper. like... Piper. Piper. Paige. Prue. Peppa. Ugh. <laughs> That's my theory. So, do you think my theory is wrong? Yes. Why? Is this because you don't like my theory? <laughs> no, I just, I don't like the timeline of it. I don't know. make her sound like she's a lot older than that. Yeah. And I, I don't know if it's like the way you explained it, but it seems very like convoluted and complicated and just like a lot in one thing. And it's just like, Well, that's mostly because my brain, like I said, it churns up all this stuff and then it poops it out again. <laughs> And I tried to get it in the most sensible way I could. Here, by the way, are my freaking bullet points if you want to read no, them. No, I don't want to read them, now. <laughs> you already said them all. And I don't agree with them. Anyway. I don't think he said that she's the key to it because she'll get the maiden powers. I think he said that because she's a robot with a soul and with feelings. And that's it. He believes in technology and warriors and armies. And he believes okay. in solid things like that. He doesn't really believe in 
the her mystical just because of how things much more powerful being able she to, is. and he doesn't believe in the mystical things that, you know, are right there in front of him. Yeah, he believes in them because he sees them, but he believes that his armies can defeat Salem. He believes okay. that his armies and his robots and his little tin soldiers and everything are going to save the world. Basically, so I think he can save the world. I think that the reason he thinks Penny is the key is simply because she's a stronger robot than all the rest because she's like them. She's like humans, but she's also not. And she's also so, just a good soldier. So and here, combat ready. Here's my question, then, which is sort of why I think how I got into this whole train of thought, although I don't <coughs> entirely remember. So Penny has a soul. Where did the soul come from? I don't from? think she has a soul. Well, she's capable of generating an aura. Okay. Auras are the manifestation of one's soul. Okay, and they couldn't have possibly found some other way for her to generate an aura at all? After not according, years and years of possibly... Not according to the way they talked about it before. And But did they specifically say it was not possible? Or is it possible that they just acted like they couldn't because they didn't want anyone replicating that? Or they didn't want anyone to know what they were doing with Penny think... because they wanted Penny to be a secret, which is what she was. Well, no, see, the, 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 I don't even know once you said that. Huge this... stretch. What? That whole hiding this whole other secret about Aura thing. Yeah, well, because... I just, I don't think she has a soul. Do well, you? because the reason why... I... Mm, not really. Not well, know. okay, so... Not like... A... And volume, soul, not like somebody died and they took her soul and was like, here. <laughs> well, in, in volume one, I don't think that's when what it was. Pura and John were first partnering up, and Pura woke up John's aura. That's how she explained to him. The aura is a manifestation of our soul. Yeah, and, and she's then also volume, a seventeen-year-old. And in volume three, they had this machine that was going right? to take Amber's soul and put it into Pura's body. And that worked merge. out so well. It probably would have worked out great if you know Amber hadn't died Are in the middle you of sure? it. Sure. They weren't sure. They weren't sure if it was going to work. They weren't sure if Pura was going to survive it. They weren't sure if the maiden was going to survive it. No, they knew the maiden was going to survive it. But they didn't know, like. But they, they didn't know what happened to Pura. But Ironwood even talks about how they've been doing research into aura, how yeah, it generates Yeah, then they the should soul. know that it can work for sure, one hundred percent, because. They did Unless it to Penny, the technology was designed know. by a disgraced Elysian scientist who no longer works for them, and they're and only so using. And so they just decided to use it for Penny, but. No, on, I'm dude. thinking that Pietro, in a desperate attempt because his daughter was dying, used it to save some part of her, and then time passed where he, a ten, ten years, fifteen years, where he was trying to build something that could hold her soul. I don't think so. I mean, the Sorry. one thing I about your theory that I could see is the whole, like, his daughter died and he made a robot that looks like her. I mean, when you think about... Like... <laughs> but that's, but that's well, what Well, because that's another thing we get to. Is, let's be honest here. Penny does not look like her dad. Which is why it made me think that he would probably marry her in the first place. Because if you're going to build a robot daughter, she's going to look like one of two things. She's going to either look like you or she's going to look like someone you loved. Okay, and what if they actually never had a daughter? That's <laughs> something I also toyed with. But like I said, this is a theory. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying it's going to be right. I just think it's a theory that's very possible in my opinion. And I don't. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't. I think it's too convoluted. And I think it's just... I didn't do the best job explaining it. There's no actual... Proof that they even had that technology back then, say even now. I well, I'm pretty I sure they know just, they have no. the technology to pull a soul out. I mean, we saw that machine was doing something, pure was a lot of pain, but and no then, one knows what because we saw the orange light sure. go from Amber up into the machine, it was going down into Pure, Pure was screaming, and then Cinder yeah, killed because Amber. She's a maiden. It wasn't her soul, though, it was the maiden power. No, but yeah. no, they couldn't do the maiden powers. They said that they said, We can't give you the maiden power, but we can give you what the maiden powers are attached to. Yeah, but that's because she's a maiden. How do you know they can do that with anyone else? Because they didn't say it was anything to do with the powers of the maiden, they said it had to do with her soul. They couldn't no, but give her the maiden power. Because the maiden power attaches to the soul. They wouldn't give her soul to Pura. 
No, but I'm saying, like, maybe that's what makes it possible for that to happen. Like, what? they can't just take Ruby's soul and just shove it in Yang. <laughs> be like, there we go. It's fine. But the main powers aren't supposed to be able to touch by the machine. That's what they were saying. I'm not saying... <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, why would the maiden powers make it possible to do that? What's so? Why? No, it just makes the soul special because that whole thing has to move on anyways. Because it's like Oz, his soul moves on. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> because I don't know. I think the machine would work with any soul. But you don't know if they had that back then. You don't know if he had a daughter. You don't know any of that. I don't. No, but that's why it's a theory. I don't like your theory. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. As a fellow writer, I don't like your theory. I don't think you'd like anyone's theories. No, I'd like it if it was less convoluted and made a little bit more sense. (laughs) I love you. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) If you guys agree with me, or you agree with her... Or you, well, he kind of is in the or middle Or you ground. agree with Mew. So basically... Mew, 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 Mew. Pokemon came out today, so Mew joined us. I'm positive. Pokemon. She's negative. He's a Neutron. And lame. <laughs> um, no matter who you agree with, we'd love to have a comment down below. Go ahead and... He replies uh, to them. Yeah, on YouTube I reply to them. Um, we're going to be activating a Twitter soon, which will probably be more her domain. We also have a Facebook. It's, you know, facebook.com slash story fandom. Um, I mean, I reply to comments if I see them before you do, but considering I'm not on my phone as much as you are, I don't. <laughs> I'm in a lot of traffic. <laughs> it's a big truck. And I just realized I was supposed to change my shirt so that people didn't know what company I was working for. Crap. It's too late now. <laughs> Maybe you can blur it out. Yeah, Put a little it, smiley yeah, face. Do I'm not going to put an emoji. Face. Put an emoji. Put a poop emoji. <laughs> and then stink lines. <laughs> put Max's face. You? No. Mew. Give me Mew back. Stop. <laughs> no. Mew, use takedown. No. Stop. Okay. You're going to drop my what? Anyway, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we'd love to hear from you. I like how you just shoved him down. <laughs> so he wouldn't kick the microphone. And that's my theory. I don't actually have a theory. I just poop on other people's theories. Because I have a butthole. (laughs) For our Lion King rant, go and click down below. (laughs) And that will be that. Right, Max? Hit the bell. Oh, yeah. Hit the bell. It does exist. Yep. Hold on. It's still recording.